Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I know I've been keeping it kind of small on reviews these last few Fridays, uh, but today we kind of got a big one. Could have been a regular Wednesday review. Today we're going to be looking at the G.I. Joe Cobra Ferret and Scout Driver. If Saturday morning cartoons fueled your imagination as a kid and powers your action figure collecting now as an adult, then you're in the right place. Thanks for stopping by, and welcome to Saturday Morning Toy Collector. And if you like my content, please consider subscribing. Alright, taking a closer look at the package here for the Cobra Ferret Scout and Cobra Ferret ATV. Man, this is beautiful artwork on the front. I love this uh, sort of... Um, uh, you know, aztec -y kind of, you know, uh, temple in the back. Look at this beautiful artwork. It's so clean and colorful. I love it. That is a beautiful piece of artwork right there on the side. Here on this side, we have the uh, stats and a QR code that literally goes nowhere. Um, come on, guys. You got one job. Yeah, I got one job. Cobra Ferret Scout and Cobra Ferret ATV. She stands 5.9 inches tall. You can see the equipment that she comes with. Some little call outs and details here, like the uh, cannon on the front, the seat, which looks really nice. And then check this out. Look at here. Missile Launch. L A U C H. No N. That's a big boo-boo. Somebody did not proofread this very well. Uh, and we're going to see if you get this thing opened up if it actually says that on the tampo. So let's get this figure opened up, this box, let's get it put together, and let's see everything this thing has to offer. All right, here is the package opened up and how it comes. Here is the uh, instruction booklet, which is really nice, it's very simple. Uh, it just kind of shows you how to put everything on, how to put the grill on, how to put on this uh, the tires in case you, for those of you who had trouble with the vamp, that's here to help you out. Look at this right here, this little roll bar in the back, it says, in, how to install that but it's already installed it shows you how to put the missiles on um, and then how to put her helmet on if you just don't know how to do that um, here on the back of the package we have the uh, the ammo crate or the weapons crates it's Cobra Ferret Scout and Cobra Ferret ATV mine's kind of bent up but as long as everything on the inside is good to go I'm all right with that let's uh, let's see what's inside of here and let's get this um, tour open here and let's see what we have inside Ooh, looks like we've got the cannon wrapped in uh, cardboard. And you can see everything else in there. We have some bits and bobs. It looks like we've got the grill, the, the, the missiles. Let's get all of this out of the way, see what we have here. Uh, here is the front bumper. Uh, it looks like it's got a little, uh, um, like a, uh, a winch or something on it. Uh, is this how this goes? I uh, don't think so. I think I may have it upside down. Let me consult the instruction manual here. You want to put it in a way to where it looks like, I've got it misaligned, where it looks like the red hook from the um, winch is connected to the um, cabling system. That's the way you want it to look. I, I wish that was a real working winch like we got on the vamp, but hey, you know what? I'll take it. Um, we've got some silver paint on the uh, headlight here. And then look at that tampo and all the readouts on the inside that looks super nice and clean. We've got the uh, supports here for the missiles. It's gonna go on the side of the ferret. We've got the missiles, which are bi-directional. They can shoot off any way they want. And then we're here, uh, we have the, uh, the, the main cannon, which I'm glad it's in that red color. It's very toyetic, uh, like the old toy from the 80s being in that red color. And then we have this little clip right here that's gonna be where the uh, turret sort of clips onto the roll bar on the back of the ferret. And then here we have the figure herself, the Scout. Uh, and there she is in all of her glory, looking good. She comes with a helmet, two pistols, and a knife. We're gonna look at that here a little bit closer in just a minute. And then here is how it comes laid out in the package. Package could have been smaller, but you know what? They gotta fill space on the shelf, so let's get them clipped open and uh, put this thing together. Okay, so let's take the ferret, and let's pop the wheels on, make sure they're going in the right directions here. And uh, we got them both going in the right way. And I love the suspension work here. That's really cool. I dig that. It's looking pretty nice. Let's get the back wheels on. Oh, one of them fell off. I guess I didn't have it. Oh yeah, there's that good click. There's a good click. I just didn't have them clicked all the way in. So pop that in. You gotta make sure you get that good click. And I gotta tell you, this thing feels really hefty. 
uh, in hand. It says no step. Yeah, it's got a really good weight to it. It feels premium quality. Uh, and I dig that. Uh, I love the way it feels. Got that Cobra XP 1000 there. And there it is. Missile launch. Come on. What are we doing? Whew. Boy, that's a big boo-boo for Hasbro's Joe team. Uh, I know they're pretty careful, uh, but they, they're not liking that. It's got the PNR 23 on the tires, uh, which is really cool. The X02. We've got uh, the... Um, Simper Fidelis Serpents ATV logo right there looks really nice. Man, this thing, it just feels so good. We've got some silver for the headlights in the front, uh, caution exhaust in the back. We've got the uh, the suspension back here and even little ports for um, some blast effects. You're going to have like this thing just kind of blowing through the battlefield. And yep, you can take this roll bar uh, off on the back. If it's called a roll bar, I don't know what it's called. That's support. Uh, you can take that off if you'd like. Let's go ahead and clip on the uh, side cannon right here on the back. So uh, we've got that put on and that rotates nicely. It looks really good. I love the pops of red, of course, with that midnight blue. It's looking great. Let's go ahead and get the, uh, the handlebars on. They just pop right in. And the handlebars do not work the front wheels at all. I'm okay with that. I don't, I don't need that on my, uh, that's not a play feature I need. And then let's make sure we have this lined up and plugged in properly. And that just pokes right there and in, uh, into the front looking good. I do wish this was a working winch. That would be really cool for, I mean, that's a play feature I would like to have. Uh, we did get it on the vamp, but that's okay. We got it on the vamp. I guess we don't need it here. Uh, then we want to plug these in and they are really tight. They, uh, they don't want to push in. I don't know, is, is, it, is that in all the way? Is that as far as it goes? Um, let's plug these in. The missiles are a little pliable. They're a little rubbery. Um, so, you know, you want to make sure that they're not kind of bent out. You want to have them seated in there nicely uh, so they don't warp over time. Uh, let's see. Can I push this one in any further? Oh, yeah. This one goes all the way in. What's going on over here? Oh, it's just, it's really tight and it's kind of pokey. You, you can't really get a good grip on it. Uh, it's just, it really hurts your hand. Uh, that's about as far as I'm going to even attempt it. We're just going to plug that in right there and uh, plug the missiles in. Oh, got those butterfingers. And uh, there we have it. Got it all plugged in. And there it is, man. Looking really nice. I really dig the way this thing looks. It's very hefty. has a good weight to it. Feels good. I like it. And there it is on the turntable so you can see it from every angle. It's looking nice. It's got some silver lights on the front that I didn't really notice before. It's got some nice red um, brake lights in the back. I wonder what this looks like um, with some blast effects coming out. I love the motor, uh, the silver engine detail. You can see on each side, it's looking really good. All those pops of red coming out of that midnight blue look fantastic. Oh man, this thing brings back so many memories of so many missions that this guy went on when I was a kid. Now taking a closer look at the Cobra um, Scout driver herself. The Scout, she looks great. That face printing looks beautiful. She looks nice and evil. I really dig all the females that um, they're joining the Cobra ranks. Now I have heard before that this is the same body that is on the Cobra Valkyrie's body, if that's uh, right, with the exception of this chest piece, which is all new for the ATV. Uh, I don't have those Cobra Valkyries. Maybe I need to pick up a set because I really like this uh, sculpt. I like the colors, the gray, the blue that matches the, uh, the ferret blue, which I really like. Um, I like this nice belt. Uh, it looks really cool on her, but that head sculpt just really, really gets me. She uh, she comes with two uh, of the same uh, pistols here. Uh, just, uh, I got a little hair on it. Uh, it's a dog hair. Um, just cast in all black. And uh, let's see here. So one um, kind of fits uh, right down in her uh, drop holster. And I am doing this in the most awkward way possible. And then one fits in this, why? Now, why is this holster backwards? Why is this holster facing? Even if you turn it around, yeah, that's not going to help. It's facing the wrong way because if she was to cross over her body and pull this out with her right arm, then she would still draw this one on her right. You're not going to pull from the left. I don't know. This is a weird choice. Why that holster's on? That holster's on backwards to me. I, I don't. I don't know why. Maybe somebody in the military can explain that. 
uh, if there's a real world reason for that or if they just messed it up. Put the knife in there. Uh, but look at this helmet. This helmet is awesome. This is a really cool helmet. It's a cross between like an actual ATV or a bike helmet. It's got these little soft uh, fang motifs, uh, motif on the front of the helmet. This whole helmet is very soft and uh, rubbery. It's very soft and pliable. So it just fits right on. You can see how gummy it is. I do like the colors and I do like the added um, uh, dimension, like the added, um, uh, what am I trying to say here, proportions that this adds. It looks like an actual helmet with an actual head underneath it and that's probably because it's a female head and it's smaller, but I think it's proportioned very well. I think it looks really good. Now let's get her uh, on this thing, see how easy it is to get her seated. I don't know how far we're going to have to bend these legs and knees to like get her seated properly, but um, but yeah, she fits on pretty easy. I don't, I don't really have a problem with this. And then you can either fit her hands like over the um, the brake, uh, the brake handle, or or not. You can have them, you know, gripping it or not gripping it. But uh, man, it does look good. I kind of want to have her like standing up a little bit. You know how like you would, you know, yeah, like that. I think that looks really good. You know, having her up off of the seat a little bit, like maybe like she's she's helping, uh, you know. Um, not bounce up and down so hard on the seat from hitting like bumps and stuff. Uh, but yeah, man, this thing, gosh, this is awesome. I almost like really want to take this thing outside and play with it in my backyard uh, for real. Just to find a dirt pile to like roll this thing through. Uh, it looks really, really good and I'm digging it and she looks great on it. And I'd like to see what another figure looks like on it. For me, I always had Tomax and Zaymot riding these things around uh, as a kid. So that was like the first thing that I gravitated towards when uh, I got this thing in hand is I was like, I really want to put Tomax and Zaymot. So I grabbed one, threw it on here. I don't know which one I grabbed. I don't know the difference. So revoke my Joe card. I don't know. This set is great. And I think it is great for the price point as well. What you get is really, really awesome. I think this is a great value. You get a figure, you get a vehicle, and this is what I want. I want more of this style, size, vehicle, and play sets um, for the future of the classified line. Uh, this is perfect and right up my alley. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. I super appreciate it. Please continue to check us out over on Instagram at Saturday Morning Toy Collector. I am your Saturday Morning Toy Collector. I'm your host, Mark, and I will see you in the toy aisles.